I wanted to talk to you now about the subject of dienes. Now, as we've talked about earlier in this semester, dienes are compounds that have two alkenes in them. Now, as it turns out, there are three different kinds of dienes we'll worry about in organic chemistry. The first one is cumulated dienes. These are dienes in which the two double bonds are both attached to the same carbon like this. Cumulated dienes are also sometimes called alenes. Two are isolated dienes. Those are molecules in which the two double bonds are at least one carbon apart from each other. Here's an example of an isolated diene. The two alkenes are at least one carbon apart from each other. If I had more carbons or other atoms in between these two alkenes, it would also be an isolated diene. The third example is very special, conjugated dienes. These are dienes in which the two double bonds are adjacent to each other. That is, every other bond is a double bond. So it goes double, single, double, single. Here are some examples. A conjugated diene shown here, and benzene, the ringed molecule that has every other bond going double, single, double, single. A very special conjugated diene we'll talk more about in chapters 15 and 16. Now you might ask the question, why in the world do I care? The reason is because conjugated dienes in particular are very important because they can resonate. Isolated and cumulated dienes cannot. Let me show you some examples. If I've got this conjugated diene I showed you earlier, you can imagine the pi electrons pushing up onto this carbon, giving it a negative charge. These pi electrons thrusting up this way to close like a door on a hinge, forming a carbon-carbon double bond and leaving me a positively charged carbon over here, forming this resonance contributor. I, of course, could go backwards as well. Thus, this is one example of showing how conjugated dienes do experience resonance. Now, you can, of course, imagine that this resonance contributor could go in reverse. That would happen if these lone pair electrons on this carbon thrust down here, closed like a door and a hinge to form a carbon-carbon double bond, and pushed these pi electrons up into here, closing like a door and a hinge to form another carbon-carbon double bond, thereby reverting us back to the original molecule from whence we came. I could, of course, similarly go in the opposite direction, having these pi electrons push up onto the carbon at the right, giving it a negative charge, these pi electrons closing here to give me a carbon-carbon double bond and a positive charge on the leftmost carbon, thereby supplying me with this resonance contributor. All of these are, of course, resonance contributors of this one conjugated diene and help illustrate how conjugated dienes do indeed experience resonance. This brings us to a final lecture question. I want you to identify each of the following dienes as conjugated, cumulated, or isolated. Which of these dienes have delocalized electrons, and for those that do, draw their different resonance contributors? Now, of course, I'm going to show you the answers momentarily, but if you wish, you could pause the video now and attempt to do them on your own. Let's start with our first one. As you can see, the double bonds in this molecule are more than one carbon away. Thus, there is not a double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond pattern in this molecule. This is not a conjugated diene. Contrastingly, because these two double bonds are not both attached to the same central carbon, it's not a cumulated diene either. Thus, this is an example of an isolated diene. If we were to attempt to draw a resonance structure, you might imagine trying to have these pi electrons thrust up and over, swinging like a door on a hinge to form a carbon-carbon double bond, giving us this resonance contributor. Do you see any problems with this? As we've seen in previous examples, this carbon right here has five bonds around it. It's got two bonds to the left, one bond to the right, and one bond to two separate hydrogens. Thus, this is an impossible thing to do and is not a legitimate resonance structure. Once again, this illustrates the point that isolated dienes cannot resonate into each other the way conjugated dienes can. Let's look at this example. I have a carbocation over here on the rightmost extreme. And I've got a single, double, single, double bond pattern. Is this a conjugated diene? Yes, it is. Can it experience resonance? Absolutely. I can foremost imagine these pi electrons swinging like a door on a hinge in that direction and closing to give me a carbon-carbon double bond, leaving me with a positive charge in this carbon in the middle, as shown in this resonance contributor. I can similarly imagine this next double bond doing the same thing, giving me this resonance contributor. You can see the beauty and elegance of a conjugated diene system. 
If I have a positive charge stuck on a carbon that can be resonance stabilized by the conjugated dienes, I can see that this positive charge is not in reality localized on that carbon only. It's actually shared by this carbon, this carbon, and this carbon. Thus, these three carbons are all helping to bear the burden of that positive charge. We'll now finish with our final example, this system. Is this a conjugated diene? Well, the answer is, of course, no. It's not a diene at all. Can these lone pairs resonate in any way into this double bond? Well, if I push them to the right, you can see that that would form a nitrogen-carbon double bond. And the problem is that this carbon would now have 10 electrons or five bonds around it. Thus, this is impossible. What if I tried to push the lone pairs to the left? I'd have the exact same issue. Thus, there's no direct resonance that I can come up with between these lone pairs and this double bond. Now, that's the end of this first lecture set on resonance structures. Please tune in for our next installment in which I'll finish indoctrinating you about the awesome world of resonance structures. Until then, have an enjoyable rest of your day.